Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going with Q3 of the weekly contest 244. Uh, minimum number of flips to make the binary string alternating. To be honest, um, I just, I, you know, as you can see, I took about eight minutes, but it felt much shorter and I knew how to do it. I roughly knew how to do it immediately, but I was just a little bit slow. It seems like today is just a rough day for me, though. You know, some people, well, okay, like even top people who did it in. I mean, they did it faster, obviously, but it wasn't that much faster, so mm, it is what it is. Um, and in this one, you know, remember to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think. I didn't have any issues with this one at all. I was just thinking really slowly about off by ones because I was really worried about off by ones on this one. But the idea is brute force in a smart way. So, so okay. So let's say you have a string here. Um, anytime you... So there are two observations, right? So let's say we have this string. Um, you know, you can remove any character at the beginning and append it to the end with string, which means that you're doing a full rotation of the string and you have to pick the best one out of that. So the next step from that is just, um, this is a common trick that comes up in competitive, which is that we double the string. And then now we only have to care about a sliding window of the original n number of characters. Um, hope that makes sense. Let me actually make this bigger. I forgot to make this bigger. I uh, haven't done this in a while. But yeah. Um, so yeah, so now you're just doing a sliding window of, of, um, of, of basically the original string um, times two. So this is a common trick. I don't know how to describe it, but um, it comes in hand. It might come in handy sometimes, and in this case, it did. And then the next thing is, is okay. Now, now we have this. the The next thing is just matching it with um, an alternating string. So then now we match it with zero one zero one zero one zero one. Oops, and and then here. This becomes a, a very easy sliding window, uh, we'll have them, right? Because now, you know, we, we now we get the cost of okay, what is the the number of different digits here with here, right? And in a prefix some kind of way. So then here, there's one difference. This is still one. This is now two. This is three. This is still three. This is four, five, five, six, seven, seven, eight, right? Um, so this is to prefix some of the differences. Um, and then now, in a sliding window kind of way, you know, now you know how many, uh, you know, this original string is length 6. So now we look at every 6 elements, and then we kind of do the prefix sum on that. Let's say there's a, a 0 prefix of no character length. So then now we compare, for example, in this case, 4 to the 0. And what does that mean, right? That means that we know there are 4 differences. Um, and here we compare the 5 to the 1. Again, we know that there are 4 differences because that's how the prefix sum works. I think I have a video on prefix sum, so check that out if you have questions about prefix sum, and that's basically it. And then the question you may ask is, um, well, what if what if we want to match it with, you know, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0? So that's the idea of the brute force, is that you match it with the other thing because it could only have two patterns and you do a prefix sum on both of them and it'll be fine um, the way that I did it to reduce code is instead of instead of reducing you know instead of matching it with one zero one zero zero one zero, we actually take the original string and we actually take the alternating um, and then we reverse it and then we do the match here um, you know with, with this string and then also do the prefix sum again, and that's pretty much it. Um, and you can implement this pretty quickly again, to be honest. I think I was just really careful in this one because I was just sloppy in the last couple of contests. So I tried to be really careful because um, I got this these ideas very quickly. And you can watch me solve it live during the contest next, um, as you know. Um, but, but that's basically the idea is that, okay, so I only implement this function once so that I don't have to worry about 0, 1, or 1, 0. Um, I go okay for each number. I I look at the index if 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 um, and this gives us the current you know the current index is you know if it's, if it's odd number index it's going to be a one if it's even even number index it's going to be a zero um, and if that is equal to the C um, which is the current character of the string and of course as we um, 
I do convert it to an int first. That may be a silly mistake if you don't. Um, yeah, and then I just do the prefix. Like I said, we do a prefix sum of um, of this delta, uh, meaning that if it's different, then it causes one, and then we want to add one. Otherwise, it causes zero. Um, and if we have at least m characters where m is you know half the string, which is of course the original length of the string, then we we calculate the the prefix difference, uh, if you want to call it that, or just the difference, the number of costs, right? The number of flips. Um, and then we do the best cost here, and then we return the best. Um, again, we just reverse the string, or not reverse, but we flip every character in the original string, and we take the minimum of either one of the two. Um, that's pretty much it. Um, that's all I have. Uh, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord, but you can watch me suffer live next. Uh, oh, let me go over the complex. I always forget and I say that. But yeah, but because you only call this function twice, and this is linear time, um, and I guess linear space, so it's going to be linear time, and we only call this twice. We make, cop we make co copies, but we only, we only make a couple of copies, right? So it's going to be linear time, linear space, and that's all I have. Uh, this problem is going to be linear time, linear space. And yeah, you can watch me self it live next. Come on, come on. Yep. Okay. Minimum number of flips to make binary string alternating. Someone already got this one just from a little bit behind. Um, okay, you're given a binary string S. You're allowed to perform. To... We move the character in the front and then append it to the end. Okay. Pick any character in S and flip this wire. Okay. So only type two causes something. Um, so type one doesn't matter. So we can do this infinite amount of them. And this is just awkward because you would never need to know this. Eh, that's not true. Maybe there's like one case, but. Because it's free to move one of these. Mm. I feel like there's a prefix something, but so we can do this and well, mm. I wanted to say that it doesn't matter, but it seems like that you can. For someone like this, you would do someone like this. So here, I was gonna say you can only, you only need to move, uh, do step one once, but that's not true. Hmm. So there's a couple of tricks you can do, but I'm trying to think whether um, how to do it in a good way. Mm, okay, I think I have an idea, but implementation may be a little bit awkward. So this is kind of scary. In that sense, okay, let, let's play around with The longest alternating, but I mean, there's a dynamic programming, I guess. But it's not really dynamic, but, uh, maybe it is. But 
tend to the fifth is a little bit weird to do it on, even though that is linear. Maybe not. <laughs> okay. I mean, it's just brute force in a smart way. Uh, but I don't know if I know how to do it quite that fast. Let's see. Okay. Um, prefix is zero. Oh, actually, just zero. That's fine. And then now for index C and range of in write as uh, if index is one, two or zero is zero is equal to um int of c then this is good so then prefix append prefix one plus one otherwise or oh, maybe this is the c Minimum frips. Okay, so that means that if they're not the same, then we need one frip. Okay, and then now we have a best thing. Best frip is equal to n frips, which would never happen, but that's okay. Um, if index is greater than equal to n, then prefix of index minus n. Oh, this is a weird n. This is not this n. What we want is is well n over two. Yeah. Is this minus fix of index and then we have this is you I may be off by one here, but am I? Also, well, it's wrong direction in any case. Maybe off by one. Well, for M elements, I think this is the case. So I think now we're maybe okay. Mm. Let's, let, let's look at it later. Um, okay. So this is not it, but mm, no, I think that's fine. So, okay, and now let's print the prefix away. F four. I know that that might not be the right answer, but that's fine. Uh, and also, we want the min. Okay. So we have six, so it should have so one, two, three, four, five, six. Five is one, six is one, seven is two, okay. Is that right though? One, two, three, four, five, six, six and zero. Is that right? Yeah, okay, I think this is right. Because we don't want it on the five, okay. I think this this, okay. And then now what we have to do is just do the reverse it goes to uh, um int of c for c and s then the list i think this is good oops and then i don't need this here and also then here we just want the list of int of well we just want uh, 1 minus C for C in S. Um, and now we just get the min of. Okay. So now we have the right answer. Is that right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 0, and 1. Is that good? I guess that looks good. 
Let's give it a submit. I don't know if this is good enough, but okay, cool. Uh, Q4 minimum spin. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed chilling and going through this farm with me. Uh, stay good, stay healthy. Uh, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later, and yeah.